How you doing folks? Uh, welcome to another video of Paul Blark's Garage. Uh, I know it's been since last year, probably about December when I've done a video. And I kind of wanted to give an update video. It's going to be kind of a short, probably boring video to some of you. I think all my videos are probably boring, but uh, anyway, it's about the uh, 1988 GMC Sierra. Um, I recently did some videos to where the 700R4 was toasted, where I showed where the... Uh, detent cable had been broke and no telling how long before I bought the truck that the transmission had ran uh, without a detent cable which you know controls the line pressure and it burnt third and fourth up so I thought about it long and hard over the holidays and uh, decided to go instead of rebuilding the 700R4 because around where I live at they want $1,800, $1,700 to rebuild it and um, which I think is kind of high you can almost probably order one for that and then you have to pay to have it put in but anyway um found a 350 turbo i've always liked those transmissions uh found one and uh throughout the last couple of days i've been uh getting that installed um also decided to to do away with the uh the clutch fan stuff uh which I've done a video before to where I bought some bolts from my local parts store for the water pump assembly and they broke off and sent this fan into the radiator and broke a bunch of stuff but um, I since bought a brand new radiator a uh, brand new electric fan toggle switches and stuff and I pretty much just got the uh, new radiator in it uh, and mounted got the um, electric fan mounted just got it on a toggle switch right now I'm going to do a thermostat later and uh, but I'm just trying to get it running where I can actually start driving and enjoying the truck. Um, but I almost got the uh, transmission in. Um, there was some tail housing issues. There was some speedo uh, gear issues. And I uh, had to call Monster Transmission and a couple other transmission shops to figure out how to do, uh, how to rig the housing from the 700R4 to go on the housing of the 350 Turbo. So I could use the uh, electric plug-in for this this uh, speedometer. Some people say it won't work. Some people say it will work. Uh, I've actually got it to where it will work. Um, the yoke doesn't bottom out on the splines. Um, it's going in um, the housing and, and riding on the splines uh, well enough to where it's not bottoming it out. And uh, it's fitting in uh, past the bushing enough to where... There's no play there. It's just that um, I'm probably going to end up having to buy another housing that I think Monster Transmission makes that I actually make it look better. Really can't even tell that the splines stick out four inches from the housing unless you pull the yoke off, and because uh, it looks retarded without that. But uh, it just I'm OCD when it comes to that kind of thing. Which Monster does sell a housing that you can buy to actually work. Right now, I just got it rigged up to where I can drive the truck. Or will be driving it soon. And I also bought some uh, pigtails. I noticed on my dim lights some of the pigtails were melted. And I went to O'Reilly's and bought these. Bought an extra one to replace the other one just, just to be doing it with something new. And just another bulb because uh, it was shot. And uh, But it'll have a 350 turbo in it. It'll have a new tran or the transmission in it. It'll have the new radiator. Um, it's a 3 flu. And it'll also have a the electric fan on it and of course this stuff replaced in a new old descending unit and uh, probably put a floor shifter in it later on probably maybe a shift kit in it later on I'm just trying to get it uh, running where I can actually drive it but anyway as soon as I get done with the install and get everything right I've just uh, it's it's been an all day and some in half a day yesterday an all day process and as soon as I get it where it's running and everything right on it, I'll do a video showing the transmission, um, how it was installed, how I made everything work, what doesn't work, and uh, the radiator and the clutch, the electric fan, all that kind of stuff. I'll uh, do a video of it and kind of how to sort of what I have to do to get that installed. But uh, anyway, I hope everybody had good holidays. Um, hope everybody's doing good and more videos coming soon and have a good day.